Hi, welcome to All About Mechanical Engineering. Today we will discuss a question on projection of planes regarding rectangular plate which is suspended from one of its corners. Let us take the example. A rectangular plate ABCD with AB equals to 60 mm and BC equals to 30 mm is suspended from corner A such that the surface of the plane makes an angle of 45 degrees with VP. Corner A is 80 mm above HP and 30 mm in front of VP. Draw the projections of the plane. Let us write down the given data. First thing, rectangular plate ABCD, AB equals to 60 mm and BC equals to 30 mm. Second thing, suspended from corner A. Third thing, surface angle is 45 degree with vertical plane. Corner A is 80 mm above HP and 30 mm in front of VP. Here the first thing we always identify is surface angle. It is with VP so the true shape will be visible in front view. Second thing, in order to identify whether the question belongs to this category, you have to search the word suspended. If this word is given in the question or hanged or hung is given in your question, then the question belongs to this category. The second thing you have to identify, this question will have only one angle given and that angle will always with vertical plane. Let us draw the solution. XY line first, taking a vertical projector, A dash at a distance of 80 mm, breadth is 30 mm and length is 60 mm completing the rectangle. Naming it, you have drawn the true shape in front view now, completing the opposite view. 30 mm in front, you have corresponding points A and D on the same line, B and C on same line, completing the top view. Now, in order to suspend it from corner A, you have to remember the point of suspension and CG of the plane are on the same vertical line. So before suspending it, you have to find the CG of the given plane. Here, you just have to draw the diagonals. The intersection of diagonals will give you the CG. We have to keep it like this so that A dash CG lies on the same vertical line here. Coincidentally, here as this is a given rectangle, you have three points on the same vertical line A dash, CG and C dash will be on the same line because it is rectangle. Now, you may or may not get this C dash or any other point apart from these two points on the same vertical line. It depends on the type of plane we are dealing with. So here, you have to take A dash, draw a vertical line, take distance A dash to CG in your compass, Keep your compass here at A dash and cut it. You have obtained CG. Now take distance A dash to C dash in compass. Keep your compass at A dash here. Cut it. This is another point C dash. Now out of four corners, I have obtained A dash and C dash. The remaining two are B dash and D dash to be obtained. A dash to D dash and B dash to C dash, the distance is same, that is 30 mm. Take distance A dash to D dash in your compass, that is 30 mm. Keep compass at A dash here, draw an arc. Now, take your compass to C dash and draw arc on opposite side. Then, taking distance C dash to D dash in compass, which is 60 mm, keeping your compass at C dash here, cutting an arc. Then, lift your compass, keeping it at A dash, draw an arc on opposite side. Now you have located the two points, B dash here and D dash here. Just join them in sequence. After joining it, make sure that these angles are perfectly 90 degree. Then you have to take projectors down, corresponding names in the top view and join it. You have finished with the second step now, second stage. Now you have to put the line this top view D1, B1 at a particular angle, the angle is given as 45 degrees. In all previous questions we have discussed and we have taken the angle here and we take the first point that is leftmost point on this line. But here you have to identify that the corner A's position is mentioned as 30 mm in front. So on this line A1, C1 should be there. So keeping A1, C1 here 
taking angle phi equals to 45 degrees and drawing a line. I have drawn this line in front also and back also. Why? Because when I keep A1, C1 at this position, half of this line will be coming in front and remaining half will be on the back side. Now take distance A1, B1 in compass which is same as A1, D1. Keep your compass at A1 here and draw two arcs. You have completed this top view now. Name the corresponding points P1 and D1. Now you have to take projectors up and obtain the final front view. One projector at a time in order to avoid confusion. I have taken A1 first. Here the intersection point is. So it is A1 dash. Taking another projector in sequence. So B1 and B dash here. So this gives you B1 dash. Then C1 is on the same line. And from here it is on this line. So here you get C1 dash. Then the last point D1. Here is the intersection D1 dash. Join these all points in the sequence. You obtain your final front view. In order to check whether you have drawn everything correctly, look at the given conditions. It says corner A is 80 mm above HP, 30 mm in front. So corner A is 80 mm above here and 30 mm in front. And the surface angle is 45 degrees. So here surface angle is 45 degree with VP. Everything which is given in the question is satisfied. In order to understand your solution, you have drawn it correct or not, just make sure the side A1 dash B1 dash which you are getting, is it coming parallel to D1 dash C1 dash? If it is coming parallel, then it is correct. And B1 dash C1 dash will be parallel to A1 dash C1 dash. So this is all regarding your question. Hope you have enjoyed the video. If you haven't subscribed my channel yet or you're new to my channel, then please don't forget to subscribe it. Like and share my videos with your friends. Thank you for watching.